All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve an interesting system of equations. So for my first system of equation, sorry, for my first equation in my system of equations, I have x squared plus y squared is equal to 13. And for my second equation, I have x minus y is equal to 5. So to solve this, I'm going to first use my second equation, which is x minus y equals 5, and solve for one of these variables. So in this case, I'm going to add y on both sides, which I'm solving for x. So I get x is equal to 5 plus y. Now that I have my value of x, I can plug this in to my first equation. So my first equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to 13. And I can plug in this value of x, so I get 5 plus y squared plus y squared is equal to 13. So y plus 5 squared is equal to y plus 5 times y plus 5. And I'm going to distribute, so I get y squared plus 5y plus 5y plus 25 which is equal to y squared plus 10y plus 25. So I have this plus y squared is equal to 13. Now if I add like terms, I get 2y squared plus 10y plus 25 is equal to 13. And now I'm going to subtract 13 on both sides. So I get 2y squared plus 10y plus 12 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I get y squared plus 5y plus 6 is equal to 0. And from here, I can use the quadratic formula to solve this. So the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. In this case, a is 1, b is 5, and c is 6. So I get y is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared, which is 25, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 6, all over 2a. So 2 times 1. And this is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 24 over 2, which is equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 1 over 2. And the square root of 1 is just 1, so I get negative 5 plus or minus 1 over 2, which is equal to, I get two solutions. y is equal to negative 5 plus 1 over 2, or negative 5 minus 1 over 2. So I get y is equal to negative 2 and negative 3. Now, going back, remember x is equal to 5 plus y. So, x is equal to 5 plus negative 2, and x is equal to 5 plus negative 3, meaning x is equal to 3, and x is equal to 2. So, my two solutions are 3 comma negative 2, and... 2 comma negative 3.